So it was 260, it's struggling to get 216, I can put it down even more, there you go, 192 bar, I can probably get to about 160 before the vehicle cuts out. I've got my IMV, is fully open, I have got control of my DRV. And I've got a good old leakage going on there. My high pressure pump is working its socks off to try and achieve 200 bar. I'm now going to close the door and generate an over pressurisation. 456 bar, I think I saw. But look how quickly the ECU sees that over pressurisation and then drops it straight back down to the pressure it wants. Nice. Yes, yes, it will be. Any questions on that? Any questions? So effectively with that test you, you proved the iron means are right. You've proved proved a lot really, haven't you? Dual point control catches a lot of people out. They get confused, is it an IMV? Is it a pressure regulating valve? And it's like, and that's why some people will quite happy to go replace both units because they thought sodic belt and braces or replace both that are low on cupboard. And as a rule, yeah, they'll fix the car. But it might be, you know, some of these valves are 150 quid a pop. Some of them, they won't, they don't even like selling you the rail or the, the, the sensor or the, sorry, the um, pressure actor. They'd like to sell you the whole unit. You could be talking big money. I don't mind spending five, six hundred quid with my customer's money if I know it's going to fix it. But if I've got to say to them, well, you know, it should be, it might do, it could be okay. With this fairly simple test, we can, if I wind the duty cycle up on that pressure valve and I'm still filling, filling my bottle, which would have been the case on the bloody T5 that we spoke about, on both our T5, yeah. that would have been absolutely conclusive. Now, in fairness, we would have probably fixed the valve and it was Hi guys. But then we'd have gone, it could only be. Yeah, see what I'm getting at. Awesome. What would be to stop you if, as long as you know your pressure sensors are right, just putting the caps on, like you said, on the rail and just. Doing that test. So yeah, you, you could, could do that. Effectively, you've tested your pump, your IMV, only DFV, all in one. Matt, absolutely correct. And what you could also do, if we put up a scope on the duty cycle of the IMV, as we introduce a leak on the DRV, the pressure control valve, we should see our duty cycle alter. Now, if we saw our duty cycle alter and rail pressure went back up, I would suggest the the IMV is working. If we saw the duty cycle all